So it sounds like then, by the, by the way you're saying it, you've also in a position where basically you've quit. Like, it's it's not... Yes. What, you should be able to see what or... happens when you don't log in for 21 days. Uh, for yeah, me, it this was is just what that... I was expecting on mine. Yeah. This is exactly what I was expecting to see on mine. All of this <laughs> fancy stuff on the left. Look at it. Look at the yeah. revival pass. Look at us. Yeah. Why have I not got all of this juicy stuff? So what do you think then? If you were... Uh, this was your only account, Deadwood, and you're yeah. a returning player. Look, look at all this stuff he's getting. Look at him Where's my stuff? Well. He's, he's got four secrets chilling. Where's my stuff? Yeah. Welcome back, Gif. Look at it. I think Ooh. he's going to start playing this. Just Quick quit the main account to play this one. Is yep. four sacreds a lot? <laughs> oh, I don't want to oh, see God. what's coming. <laughs> Here we go. Here so, we go. Uh, what, what are you saying, Deadwood? If you were coming back, this was your only account, and you saw all of this stuff going on, you know, a chance to potentially drop a... How much is this? 20 bucks. Get yourself a guaranteed legendary champion. Pretty cool ones as well. Is that... Would that be the incentive for you, do you think? I mean... If I didn't have Elva, heck yeah. Um, do I get to choose which one I get? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so, you choose yeah. the last one. I, it's quite. I yeah. think it's actually a, a pretty good ad. No, for... it's actually a really. I think that's a that's a wonderful deal. Considering the stuff we spend twenty dollars on, to yeah. get a guaranteed legendary at the end of it, plus all those rewards, is like a phenomenal deal. Makes you want to just stop playing for a month, doesn't it, just to get this? Back. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it kind of does. Like, that's sacred even, at the end as well. Even if you don't go. spend, it's a sacred at the end of this. Yeah. Plus, you get all I mean, of this kind yeah. of like return stuff. Actually, a lot. Is this the same thing, or is this something different? No. Plus, you get a boost uh, for different these. Are, stuff these are additional, too. right? All of this stuff. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's a lot. It's actually a lot to to kind of bring back the player that's perhaps just dropped the game for a month. What's those revival yeah. coins, the little 20s? What's that for? I think that's points along here. So that uh, gives you points for this. Oh, for the revival so, rewards, probably. Yeah, so the rewards are separate, and then the points push you along this path. Yep. You can see the point at the top there. Very cool. It's pretty mad. Like, it's a pretty mad system. A, a really good system, actually. I, you kind of feel like this is what a battle pass should look like in Raid. Yeah, yep. This should be in the game mm, exactly. on a consistent basis, yeah. Yeah, Every, like, everybody would buy it. I think so. Like, and, and I know they maybe they just like, well, we don't need those twenty quids when we got hundreds rolling in for primal shards. But as to tempt the low spender, I think this would be a brilliant thing to do. Um, you know, even if it was once every couple of months, once a quarter or something, it'd be mm -hmm. such a good battle pass to put in. I think. But uh, yeah, anyway, yeah. Like that. So that's so you've got that in the mix. Um, I mean, when was the last time you played? Do you remember kind of what what your cutoff point was? It had Edward? to be in June. Um, I was playing up until I left for Europe. Um, okay. And so, like, when that happened, that's when I when I pieced out. And I'm a little, I'll be honest, like, I, you know, really wanted to kind of push my Hydra team. I thought I had champions to do that. And I'm, like, looking at it now, I'm like, oh, I totally could be doing that right now. Yeah. Um, cool. You know, and I really like my account. Like, I was able to farm hard dragon, which I'm like, that's such a huge boost at this early level. Yeah, because you were actually really well developed in um, in terms of yeah, you know, areas I, that you were farming compared to most of us. Yeah, I had some good, good things in some areas and bad things in others, right? Like, my spider team was pretty meh. But yeah, I was doing hard dragon. Um, yeah, I was able to get you know stage twenty, but it was rough. Um, I was able to get stage twenty, but it's rough. Like so, I was doing all the stuff that I wanted to do, but obviously, like I just you know I gave it up. But I felt like if I had continued along that path, I was able to three key ultra nightmare that I would have been able to put myself in a pretty good position. And I also feel like had I been it in it for like the emic fusion, I might be you know two king ultra nightmare by now. I yeah, probably yeah. Um, you know, and so like, there's things like that where I'm like, I, or, you know, or the newt fusion would have been a really good one. Right. Um, either of those would have been really nice. I could keep, you know, and I'm sure if I stayed, if I started playing now and I played for another month, there'd be another fusion that would probably change my account. Uh, yeah, definitely. Too. Yeah. I mean, so, who would you say were your biggest like game changers on your account? Oh, by far it's Elba, right? Like, I mean, <laughs> she's a stupid stupid good heavy carry kind of champion enabled me to do a lot of stuff but in addition to her 
right? Like Ronda was, I mean, it, this was the cool part about doing this is you got to see champions that you don't usually play with to this extent and how unbelievably effective they are. So like Ronda is super OP champion, right? Um, yeah. I thought, you know, Royal Guard, obviously very good for a lot of areas. I was really excited to get him ranked up. Um, you know, uh, Venomage. Venomage was such a beast for me in so many areas of the game. And just like, it just shows the power of like, a really good poisoner early on in this game, how effective they can be. But like, I'm looking at it now, I'm like, damn, I got a good account. I'm like, you have, I, I was thinking the same thing, like, and actually I was thinking the same thing of my account, but it's, I think when you throw in how good the free champions are that we've had, you know, like you said, Ronda, Artak, um, if we were playing mm -hmm. still, we would have Wukong right now as well. You know, yep. compare it to when we first started playing this game, you, you just didn't have champions like, I guess gifted to you along that sort of level, right? Yep, Razzlevark, like you know, fusion champion. Yeah, like, fusion you know. champions as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're really uh, it's, strong. It's nuts, you know. So yeah, in you know, it 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 was just a fun, it was a fun account with a lot of uh, good potential to it. I kind of wish I had kept playing, but you know, this is a team that can then can one key normal Hydra uh, pretty regularly, uh, I would say and three key ultra nightmare um occasionally getting close to a two key so. um well so i'd say uh, what's, what's your guys view like so so far deadwood's account versus mine who's um whose account would you rather have i'd go with deadwood yeah i'd, pro I'd, I'd probably it's, go with deadwood's on this one it's... that elf was a massive carry definitely. yeah it's the Morley as well, Molly. the Rise of Varg. Like, these are some yeah. big picks, man. Even, even like Venomage, massive champ. The thing that I, 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 I'm so, I was so happy with with this account is that it has the breadth of characters so that it really enables you to do a lot of things. I, I think this is where I got particularly fortunate compared to a lot of other people is that the champions that I had available to me can do a variety of things, right? So like... I have multiple speed boosters in Razzlevarg and Elva uh, and Deacon Armstrong, a couple different, you know, I have, you know, decreased defense AOE with Deacon. I have the max HP with uh, rear, with uh, Royal Guard, right? We've got the poisons with uh, Venomage. We've got, you know, we even have Ugo on that squad, right? We've got our attack. We need HP burn. Um, there's just such breadth of characters that can all fit together that it gives you the ability and the flexibility to do a lot of the content um which is you know the reason one of the things is like i kind of wish i had kept up with this because you know there's a morag in there i would have really liked to have built her up i was really excited yeah. to try her out and some different stuff um you know i was using uh jizzo successfully in clan box or in uh hydra right it's which i beast. thought was really cool so like there's some uh, you that's, know, that's the cool thing about these type of accounts though isn't it like the free to play accounts yeah. They just force you to start to think about, okay, what have I actually got? What have I been given here over these last couple of months? Which which champions do I need to build out? Because I yep. need specific roles. And sometimes see, on our main accounts, I think we probably gloss over some of these great epics because we've just got so many good options. Well, and you know, it's one of the things, this is actually why I love doing things like the faction games. You start to see champions that you completely gloss over and ignore and then all of a sudden you're going oh wait they can do these things yeah. they're just not the best at doing these things but they can definitely do it you yeah. know um and so like you're absolutely right when we're able to do these free-to-play accounts it really kind of highlights that fact that oh yeah we can we can do this with these you know b tier champions c tier champions they can still fill a role for our teams um and so like when people watch our videos and they're going man all you're using is xyz legendaries and you yeah, know yeah. god tier gear and it's just like well yeah but you don't have to look i mean that's the thing look what i have on the bench oh my <clears> yeah <throat> wow this, this vault there. you see look the this. crowns that's huge yeah, given you mm -hmm. stopped playing like a while ago yeah. you got a pretty stacked account yeah that's yeah, not too shabby i thought everything was right. out but it's not like you've got a lot of good epics in here as well mm -hmm. one of the things there. i ran into actually was like the breadth of champions that i wanted to level up um it was almost a little bit overwhelming and so like i was focusing a lot of attention on just ranking up champions which gets a little dull and i think that kind of contributed to me um wanting to peace out a little bit yeah it's like 
the next challenge level required more champions. And I was like, it's just, it takes a while. So it was a little hard for me to get excited to get back in. But yeah, obviously there's more options available for this team, you know, so. Yeah, you um, almost want, but bearing in mind, you've already got an account where you've done all of that grind. You almost right. want on these sort right. of accounts to just be like, you know what, I, let me take, I don't know, my Mordecai back to level one and let me put all of that into this champion to get him to 60. So just so I can play around with this champion yeah. in the team. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if that would be poor health for the game or not, honestly. You know, a game like Eternal Evolution, you can literally just throw in characters and be like, right, they are the same level as my main squad. So you can almost instantly just play them. Um, mm. But I guess Raid, they like they like you to spend the time in the grind, don't they? Um, I feel like I they was both, in the same position as this, appeal. honestly. Yeah. I mean, they you both know. have their appeal, right? Because there's yeah. a thing of... Once you put in that time and that grind, all of a sudden it becomes yours. There's an ownership. There's a story that you've developed with those champions getting to that point. And all of a sudden, like when you're using them now, that, that has more meaning to it. And so it's yeah. more fun to come back to it. But man, it takes a while to do that, right? Like, yeah. you know, I mean, it, it's the beauty of it, but it's also the negative. I, you, I run into this all the time playing like RPGs or whatever. Like I always want to, I always want, like I've been playing, uh, I've been playing, what's it called uh baldur's gate right and it's like oh, yeah. oh man i love it you know you invest all these hours building this character in this story and then you get to the part where you're just like uh i don't know if i want to do this anymore but i also don't want to go back to the beginning and <laughs> go through all that grind again it feels like sure. so much you know work but then once you do it it's still enjoyable right so i, I feel like it's the same kind of thing yeah like, it's always no one of those things that I, I know lady h felt the same in terms of mm -hmm. she kind of got to a point where she really she was just grinding champions yeah, you know, who's the next one? Who's the next one? And she didn't really feel like she was progressing herself through areas that much more than it was more just like I'm in campaign again, and that's I guess that's the way she was playing the game. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess you can fall into that trap. But also, if you if you've not played an account for a while like this one, and you know you come back to it with all of these things, plus you know on the bench or you know your new champions, but plus on the bench you've got a bunch of interesting champions to play with then maybe you just kind of like i don't know that fatigue has drifted away a bit and then it's like well we'll go again yeah i mean honestly i'm more excited to play this now than i've been in three months you know like yeah i'm i'm not going to but like i am more excited to do so now than i was before um and i think that's actually a very valid way to play this we have, find this all the time where people are like i'm quitting i'm quitting and then they, you get a message you know a month later like hey i was thinking about this thing it sounded like a fun thing to come back to yeah but i don't think that's bad right like you know when you talk about a game like this like no, you can no. play it you can totally play raid as a very light easygoing kind of part-time game 